peut imaginer qu'on puisse utiliser les cellules souches un jour pour réparer un cœur après une attaque cardiaque ou encore régénérer le, les muscles dans les patients atteints aujourd'hui de dystrophie musculaire ou encore peut-être même un jour réparer les connexions nerveuses chez les patients qui sont aujourd'hui tétraplégiques car ils ont eu des lésions dans leur moelle épinière. So, les, les études sur les cellules souches nous permettront peut-être dans l'avenir de développer des thérapies pour ces maladies qui sont aujourd'hui incurables. The Sprott Center is unique nationally and internationally in that it brings together a multidisciplinary grouping of researchers that in its nature really is without precedent. We have basic cell and molecular biologists working with computational biologists, uh, working with clinician scientists and clinician trialists all together under the same roof. And this really expedites and stimulates research moving from the bench to the bedside in a way that uh, doesn't occur anywhere else. I have excellent colleagues and I can walk down the hall and talk to a pulmonologist or cardiologist or a bone marrow transplant surgeon. Sometimes you start off in one area of research and then you make a connection to another area. So you really need a large pool of collaborators and scientists to make these breakthroughs. My trainees have access to state-of-the-art equipment in genomics and proteomics and we have equipment that can analyze cells in many different ways. And then we can walk upstairs and use a clean room which allows us to manufacture cells for uh, clinical therapies. Our research really has uncovered fundamental mechanisms regarding how stem cells work. Uh, these insights have led to the development of protein biologics that we can use as drugs to stimulate and mobilize stem cells. And we think that this will be able to ameliorate diseases such as Duchenne muscular dystrophy in the long run. In other studies, Harry Atkins, a hematologist working in the center, has been able to perform bone marrow transplants to, tr to treat uh, autoimmunity diseases such as multiple sclerosis and Crohn's disease. Uh, this has been a very successful approach and again this is a, a wonderful example of, of cells being used as therapy for regenerative medicine. Uh, in another clinical trial, Duncan Stewart is using genetically modified stem cells to stimulate blood vessel growth and he's used this first in our trial to treat a, a lung condition and now is moving to treat cardiac patients. So this is a really uh, happening environment where, where work is moving rapidly from the bench to the bedside. It's a very exciting time in regenerative medicine. As an ICU physician, we're always looking for new approaches to improve patient care. This year, we were awarded funding from the CIHR for a first-in-human clinical trial of stem cell therapy for the treatment of septic shock. It's an extremely devastating condition that we see in the intensive care unit, and we really hope that stem cells will hold promise to helping our patients survive this devastating condition. Et nous sommes très contents et très excités. Ça a été cinq années extraordinaires et nous avons fait de nouvelles découvertes. Et euh, nous espérons que les cinq prochaines années vont encore être plus productives.